الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الدين النصيحة وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجن المؤمن وجنة الكافر صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين respected friends brothers and sisters in Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh All praises belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator cherisher the merciful one the gracious one peace greetings salutations be upon sayyidul awwaleen wal akhireen hazrat muhammad mustafa mujtaba sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in his glorious speech, in his beautiful kalam, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا O human beings, if you were to count the blessings per second that descend upon you, men, women, Muslims, non-Muslims it is impossible for the human mind it is beyond numeration insan, human beings don't have that power, the capacity to quantify all the blessings that we enjoy per second Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself declares in the Quran la tuhsuha it is impossible for you in many verses of the Quran Allah is inviting human beings Muslims and non-Muslims to ponder upon the glory and the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how he creates to understand his attribute of being a khaliq when you stand in front of the mirror and admire yourself Allah is saying Alam naj'allahu aynayni wa lisana wa shafatayn when you look at your beautiful face when you look at the beautiful organs that are attached to the face the eyes, the nose, the lips, the mouth, the tongue, the ears. Allah is saying, Alam naj'allahu aynayn. Do you not ponder upon the glory and the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how He is, how He creates, that He is Khaliq? Many people today are deprived from this great blessing of even blinking. Yet it doesn't even cross our mind. We blink more than a thousand times a day. Yet there are so many people who need some form of artificial lubrication. Why? Because their tear glands don't function. But yet we blink in the 24 hours a thousand times. 
And in the night, subhanallah, Allah gives you rest. وَجَعَلْنَا نَوْمَكُمْ سُبَاتًا This beautiful sun and the light of the sun is taken out. And one portion of the people in this world are resting whilst the other people are busy again. Subhanallah. Every step that we take, we are indebted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dozens of muscles need to be stimulated for a single step that we take. A slight pain, a fracture. Those who admire football players and cricket players, ask them. A slight fall, injury would mean being out of a match, tearing a muscle. Yet we walk, alhamdulillah, from, from one place to another place without even realizing, subhanAllah. The beautiful hands that Allah has blessed us with. Many creatures in the creation of Allah can't even imagine the blessings that we enjoy as human beings. The appasable thumb that Allah has given us that allows us to grip comfortably what we want. That allows us to do whatever we want. Subhanallah. Imagine if we were not blessed with this thumb, two thumbs on each hand, how difficult it would be for us. So many blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, la tuhsuha. Allah is saying it is beyond numeration, it is not in your capacity. The mind has no power. But with all the beautiful important organs of the human body. Let me cite for you where one very important hadith recorded by majority of Ahlul Hadith, the Muhaddisin. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna fi jasadi bani adam la mudghah. In the human body, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept one very important organ intact. The most important organ in the human body. Allah's Nabi has said, إِذَا سَلُحَتْ سَلُحَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّ وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّ If that organ is kept pure and clean, the effects are on the entire body. And if that organ is kept impure and filth is attached to that organ, then the effects are on the entire body. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Ala wahiya al-qalb. Remember that organ is the heart in the human body. Such an important, important, vital organ in the human body. Not only physically, but Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is here referring to it in a very spiritual manner. That if it is clean, the effects are on the entire body. If it is with filth, then the effects are on the entire body. As students here, my sisters and brothers that are here listening to me, let us take time out. I am not here today to give you a lecture or a bayan or a va'az, just simple words, nasiha. But very important nasiha. The heart is a vital organ in the human body. It is the only receptor that allows you to directly communicate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah. I remember at one time on a journey when we were traveling from one place to another place, the navigation system was not catching the satellite. And the satellites were, were, were very weak in that area. Subhanallah. When talking about the reception on the mobile phone that we receive and the satellite connection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that the heart is that powerful organ that has the ability to directly get connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
in Urdu there is a saying, Qalbe Abdullah Arshullah. And I don't even know how to translate that in English. <laughs> in Urdu they say, Qalbe Abdullah Arshullah. The heart of a believer is the Arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Really. The heart of a believer is the Arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is how powerful that heart is. A lot of people don't even know physically where the heart is. How many people know where the heart is? Where is the heart? Do you know anybody? Lift your hands up. Where is the heart? Bhai? Can you lift your hands up? Not the ladies, I can't see you. <laughs> Unless you've watched that program yesterday, Dispatch dispatches a bunch of four ladies that were out on the streets. Huh? Do you know where the heart is? Where is the heart? Bhai, where is the heart? It's in the... Where? It's in the middle? It's in the middle? It's in the middle left side? Wrong. You can't be a millionaire. <laughs> Where is the heart? Where is the heart? Huh? Huh? I don't believe I'm talking to university students here. Is it a university? Is this a university? Demand for the university. And you don't know where the heart is? Medically. 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 Not medically. Forget medically. Where is the heart? Huh? Uh, I'm baffled now. The heart is towards your left hand side, very very low down towards where your rib cage is, the last ribs, where the last ribs are, and that is where your heart is. And in tasawwuf, uh, it, it's even easier, why? Because people train very hard to make sure that the heart is doing the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and so the heart is very, very important. So every time the heart, the palpitation, the heart that beats, has to beat upon the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why Sheikh Sabit, who was a tabi'een, he said to his congregation that right now I can vouch and I take an oath on the name of Allah that Allah is remembering me. So some of the people said, how can you say that Allah is remembering you? And he said, no, right now Allah is remembering me. How? And he read the ayat of the Quran, Allah says, فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ O oh, people, you remember me and I will remember you. So at this minute, continuously, my heart is in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so Allah is remembering me. Subhanallah. The heart is a thermometer that measures the level of iman, my respected brothers. And that is why in the hadith, Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that when a person sins, a black dot is inserted into the heart. And slowly, the more sins you commit, it engulfs your heart, it envelopes your heart, it seals your heart. Subhanallah, it's an example that comes to the mind is when you go to the dentist and he says, open your mouth and there are solid deposits between your teeth, the, the tata and the plaque that are there, uh, calcium deposits, strong between your teeth and you need to go to the dentist your toothbrush is not sufficient and so what he will have he will have this um, scaling tip an anti-scale tip something that's very sharp and pointed and he will poke you uh, right in the area where you have all that the tartar and the pluck to remove that similarly respected brothers when you sin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inserts black dots. And it, and it is worse than cancer. It seals your heart. And that is why in the very first pages of the Quran, Allah says that, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for some of the people that are in front of you, 